Do you eat your own boogers? Scientists say parents should not discourage their children from picking their noses and should allow them to eat their boogers for health reasons. Scientists claim that dried nasal mucus contains good bacteria. Ingesting dried nasal mucus is said to be able to prevent cavity-causing bacteria from sticking to teeth and defend against respiratory infections, stomach ulcers, and even HIV. Some researchers are even developing a synthetic mucus toothpaste and chewing gum to improve dental hygiene. Mmm. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. Keep watching for more factoids about the human body. Don't put anything smaller than your elbow in your ears, okay? You know that eargasm you get when you stick a cotton swab in your ear and pull out a piece of wax like candy floss? Well, according to medical experts, you should really stop doing that. For a long time now, doctors have advised against cleaning our ears with cotton swabs. But on Tuesday, the American Academy of Otolaryngology Head and Neck Surgery updated its guidelines to tell us exactly why we should never clean our ears ourselves. Cerumen, also known as earwax, is a natural substance made up of oil, hair, and dead skin cells. Doctors say using cotton swabs to clean ears can damage the eardrums and push earwax too deep inside the ear, where it can become clogged. In fact, earwax keeps our ears clean by preventing dirt, dust, and bacteria from entering the body. Earwax is removed from the body by the movement of the jaw when people talk and eat, and is washed away when we bathe. So you hear that? It's time to put those Q-tips down. And if you do have a problem with your ears, uh, go see a doctor. Australian woman damages leg nerves and muscles while wearing skinny jeans. Doctors are warning of the dangers associated with wearing tight jeans, saying that skinny jeans can cause a condition called compartment syndrome, where swollen muscles can end up severely damaging nerves in the leg. The warnings about skinny jeans come after an Australian woman encountered severe numbness of the legs and had to be hospitalized for several days after spending hours squatting to clean out cupboards. The squatting position, together with her tight jeans, caused the woman's muscles to swell. The swelling constricted the blood vessels and led to decreased blood supply in the lower legs. Looser pants would have allowed the muscles to expand to the side and relieve pressure on the blood vessels inside. The combination of swollen muscles and skinny jeans also placed pressure on the nerves in the calf, crushing the nerves and causing a loss of feeling in the woman's legs. As the woman walked home that evening, she found that she could not move her legs and feet properly and collapsed on the road. Doctors who studied the woman's nerves after she was hospitalized found that there were blockages in her leg nerves. She spent a few days in hospital recovering before she was able to walk on her own again. Say no to safe spaces on YouTube. Support Tomo News at patreon.com slash Tomo News. British teen may have died from chewing too much gum. Too much chewing gum may have played a role in the sudden death of a 19-year-old in Wales in June of 2011. Excessive intake of aspartame and or sorbitol, two sweetener ingredients in sugar-free gum, may have interfered with electrolytes in Samantha Jenkins' body, causing her salt levels to drop. Lumps of gum found in her stomach may have also affected the teenager's ability to absorb vital mineral. Jenkins suffered from a brainstem death due to swelling of the brain caused by convulsions from lack of salt, magnesium, and calcium. The Carmarthenshire coroner is set to open an inquest into Samantha's death next week. <laughs>